You are looking and listening at an award-winning show, packed rooms in New York City, and thank goodness he is bringing it to our fair city. John O'Hurley, you are a renaissance man. Everything you touch turns to gold. The show is called A Man With Standards. It's a one-man show, and Kev, they've already added an extra date. Is that Studio 54? Uh, that's right 54 there? Below, yes, it because is in New York City. Yep. We, I, I went to see uh, Sunday in the Park with George uh, oh, there a, little, yep, a little, few uh, years ago, and it was just to be inside Studio 54 was kind of cool. And to get this incredible acclaim and see that the people have a massive appetite to hear you sing well, and tell your want, story. I, you know, I think it brings back this wonderful, it's a resurrection of the wonderful entertainment format, the Supper Club. It's where people used to dress up elegantly, go out to dinner together. My parents did it for years. And you go out and you watch, you, you would have dinner and a show. Yes. Dinner and a show. So you never had to sit at your table right there, right banked up right again, next to the, uh, the stage. And you sit back and relax and be entertained for an hour and a half. Well, and you weave us through your story, essentially. That's through the fun song. part of the show. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, it's, these are the stories of my life. Um, and some of them it, very funny. Uh, some, <laughs> of them, some of them poignant, yeah. but all interesting. And, and I promise great music, laughter, and only one tear. <laughs> Just so. one. You may be the seventh most interesting man in the world, but you are probably the number one renaissance man uh, in, in the business today. You have done it all. You have done everything. You've done the soap operas. You've done the commercials. You've done a hit, you know, a number of hit shows. shows you've done theater. game shows. You've sang. You've danced. Everything. Are I you? Did. Do and you the, get and, bored? And, <laughs> and the dog show. And the dog show. for many years. Seventeen years. How do you choose? Do you say no to anything, or are you just good at everything, so you say yes to everything? Well, you know, I've had an opportunity. You know what I do? I honestly, I listen to my imagination. It's my, my imagination is never wrong. It's always a, se a self-assessment, 24-7. Mm. It's always, it's the rational side that I don't listen to. <laughs> it's the, but the imagination always tells me what I should be doing. That It says, go write a book, so I've written three. It yeah. says, go do a, yeah. uh, compose an album, so I've done, you know, it's just, it, I always listen to it, and it always leads me in the right direction. And when it comes to putting on a show like this, I asked you, how many hours did you have to sit down? And uh, there must have been pressure to think, how do I make this show entertaining? And you said it was relatively easy. No, I came up with a very simple concept of, of, uh, of a, a T.S. Eliot poem that says, in the end is my beginning and in the beginning is my end. Mm. And to arrive at the place and know it finally for the first time. So I took that and basically just about the cyclical nature of the things that were happening to me back when I was three years old and saying that I was an actor. And, and you know what I mean? When people just stand over me and say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I say, well, I am an actor. Right. So that's what I'm supposed to be. And the same thing, the same things that are going on in me now as an entertainer. There really isn't much difference. And that's what I say. There's a cyclical nature to this whole thing. So the whole show began out of the principle of, of uh, I am the same person that I was back then. You could very easily, though, have been put in one direction, especially in the earlier days when you did Edge of Night, As the World Turns, all the, all the, all all the, the biggies, old soap opera, you yeah. could have just, yeah. you could have been nothing but a, a, a soap opera actor. Not that there's anything the, wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That, that happens. Anything, you yeah. get typecast. No, it was wonderful. I had a wonderful time on daytime, but there were just many other things that I wanted to do. I knew I had a sense of humor, uh, but nobody would hire me for it. You know, I, no one would hire me for a comedy. <laughs> And it's like now, now no one wants to hire you for a drama because they think you're going to, you, they think you're just going to do this in the middle of it, you know. Uh, but uh, no, I, I listen. I, I enjoy all aspects of my career, from singing to writing to, to public speaking to uh, uh, to drama to the stage, whatever it is. I, I always have a great time because to me, it's just about it's simple communication. The honesty of communication is all. And I heard there's great food too, by the way. I heard oh, the meal I'll tell you, we have great food. Yes, Mwah. Michael Balanchini is doing the. Um, oh his, he's doing the menu for this thing, so it's going to be. He's amazing. This is, this is the top notch. This is going to be the Frank Sinatra Supper Club, bringing it back alive. I was reminded of the Seinfeld episode in which uh, George Costanza sang his own answering machine messages. <laughs> oh. uh, you know, leave a message. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just wondering, could you do? I mean, Jay Peterman's it's voice. Got a Friend. John O'Hurley's voice on my answering machine. Could you could you do my my voicemail okay. message? All right. All right. One right. freebie. One it's freebie. Recording now. Make there, sure you see you him live May third and fourth. Hi there, Peterman here. Unfortunately, he is not. He's off in Papua New Guinea with the little naked natives of Bantu Besh, learning the gentle art of bikini waxing. But he will return your call when time and the fates allow. The best, right. John O'Hurley. Beep.
breakfasttelevision.ca. Go see this man live, May 3rd and 4th, the award-winning show. You are delight. Come back anytime. And for your bikini wax, you know where to go. Oh, what that's about the right. chest? <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, we'll be back with more meeting. <laughs>